the father son aspect of the movie has come as a sort of surprise to me when people see the finished film it seems almost to be the core of the film because i thought i was writing a time travel film with a lot of romance in it and turns out that i've written a father son film ah tim come in uh do sit down this is an odd moment for me because i had the same moment with my father when i just turned 21 and after it my life was never the same, so I approach it pretty um, nervously. The extraordinary thing about this family is that the male members of the family can travel through time. So you're saying that you and Grandad and his brothers could all travel back in time? Absolutely. Him and his father, they love each other. They have this incredibly close connection that evolves over the film because they're the only two people who know about this time travel thing. Dad, he always seemed to have time on his hands. After giving up teaching university students on his 50th birthday, he was eternally available for a leisurely chat or to let me win at table tennis. His father and him have a real kind of nice relationship and kind of talk about things and, um, you know, very loving, very warm, but definitely a father-son thing. They're not, like, necessarily full friends just yet. There's still the father-son thing going on. Don't call too often. Your mother doesn't like to be disturbed. <laughs> The sort of key moment in the movie is when it's suddenly revealed that the whole lifestyle of the dad, that what seemed like a casual way of being, is in fact an enormously deliberate choice to live his life just in the texture of his family. I'm not particularly proud of many things in my life, but I am very proud to be the father of my son. My dad. My son.